What's up? I have something special for you guys today. I bet you it's not what you expect. Let me show you. You see what's written on this box? Because I see it and I still don't believe it. Let's start with today's video. So what is up guys? It's your boy, I have Alchemy coming at you with another video. And today we are looking at some first impressions of the Fujifilm X-H2S. So, I'm gonna be completely unbiased. Well, as unbiased as I can be. We all know Fuji's the best. But, with that out of the way, let's look at this baby. Well, firstly, the weight feels nice. I can, I can tell you that for free. Um, let's get this box out of the way and let's have a look at this thing. So, firstly, the table is poking me in my stomach, so I'm gonna move over to you guys. Now, I can tell you that this thing feels like a dream to handle. And I know I've said this about the X-H1, it's really, really comfortable in hand. I mean, it's true for that camera as well, this just feels better. I don't know if you know what I mean. There are much more customizable buttons on here as well. So you remember where the switch was for manual, continuous and single uh, focus? That is now a customizable button as well. And we still have our little button over here that's cleverly hidden, so your finger can eat that fast. I normally program that to be my focus type or my focus mode, but this thing feels really good. We have, of course, our fully articulating screen, which is always nice. I mean, if you're vlogging, this is better than doing some type of workaround like I am now. So that's great. Let's look at the back of the camera. So as we can see, the joystick is now moved and it has this little grip pad on it now as well. It feels like, it kind of feels like a, a, a controller's joystick. It's the only way I can describe it, but it feels good. The button layout is changed a bit, but not much. Everything is still where you expect it to be. The dial is very different. We have seven custom modes. I love customizing everything because I'm a control freak. If you do too, you are going to enjoy this. So if we're looking at handling, I mean, this notch is a bit deeper now, so your finger falls nicely in there, and yeah, it's like, as soon as you hold this camera, you're ready to shoot. I haven't looked at this display yet, but I'm guessing that it performs the same like the X-H1, which is really great. The EVF, I believe, is improved. I obviously can't check that now, but this thing feels nicely balanced. now. Let me throw on the lens, uh, let's see, we're gonna go with 16 to 80. Let's throw on the lens and see how this thing is balanced. So, this is not a small lens for Fujifilm lens if you're talking about the F2 Fujicrons. And this thing feels nicely weighted, it's not front heavy, it looks like it belongs on the camera. Which is nice because with the newer line of LM lenses, the 1.4s, you are going to see that it's bigger than the Fujicron. So this, yeah, I think it's a nice option for you if you're going to go that way. And for you guys who rig this thing out and shoot some short films or whatever, it's not going to be like you're shooting on a tiny little camera with a massive lens in front. I think it's nice. The little prism on top does look a bit chunkier, but I mean, if you look at the camera overall, it's a little bit beefier because it can offer you so much more. We have a dedicated ISO button as well and a dedicated white balance button. I think this thing is set up for running gun. Everything that you need to access easily is right there when you need it. That's all I can say about it without switching it on. So first impressions are really good. The screen is nice. And then, oh yeah, of course we have the two little holes over there for the fan. We are using the battery from the X-T4. So battery life, it's a win for that as well. And that's gonna wrap up my first impressions of this thing. It feels really nice. I'm not gonna get too excited about it because I haven't used it yet. But I mean, look at this thing, man. What more do you want? So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, hit me a like and subscribe. And until the next time I see you guys, peace.